welcome to our Lake Point Kids Online Family Experience. I'm Miss Rachel. I'm so glad you're here today. I was just getting ready to do something fun tonight. Do you want to guess what it is? Well, let me give you some clues by showing you what I have. I have some marshmallows. I have some cookies with chocolate tops. And I have these special sticks right here. Anyone want to take a guess? That's right, I'm going to have a bonfire tonight in my backyard. And these are all the supplies I'll need to make s'mores. Our family loves having bonfires. We tell jokes, we play games, we sing songs. One time we even stepped away from the bonfire and did some dancing. We stepped away so we wouldn't get hurt because remember, you always have to be careful around the fire. You know, thinking about bonfires makes me think of something else with the flame. And that's birthday candles. We have some runs with a birthday this month. Big happy birthday wishes go to Claire, Liam, Talia, Easton, and Joshua. We hope you all have a wonderful day. Hmm, you know what friends? It might be getting a little cool tonight, so I better be prepared. I'm gonna go look for a blanket while you head on over to the clubhouse to see what's happening there today. I'll meet you there. Sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me.
I'm Lucy, and my mom found something so amazing when she was going through boxes in the attic. Are you ready to see what it is? Scarfs! I brought them here so I can dance with them. Music player, Melody. Hello. Can you please play some fun music for dancing with scarfs? Playing fun music. Here I go. I love dancing with scarves, and I want you to try it with me. Pretend like you have a scarf in your hand. Wave the scarf high, wave it low, and swoop it around in a big circle. Now put your hands back in your lap. Great job, friends. I love dancing with all these bright colors. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Having fun with scarves, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I just love dancing with all these bright colors. Red and yellow and orange. Who? Who? Those colors remind me of a story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I got it working! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hola friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just fixing my indoor marshmallow roaster. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I even roast marshmallows on a big fire outside. Have you ever done that? Oh, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Speaking of fire, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready. Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah. Elijah was a friend of God's. He knew God could do anything, and Elijah trusted God. But the king of the land, King Ahab, did not. King Ahab believed in a pretend God called Baal and had a big statue of him. The king had a lot of people who told him over and over that Baal had superpowers, that the statue could do anything. And the king was like, wow, that's great. But Elijah was like, no, that's not great. There is only one true God, and everyone needs to know. So Elijah said to the king, let's do a test. We'll each set up an altar, and then we'll pray. The God who starts a fire on the altar is the real God, the one true God. Everyone agreed, and Elijah let King Ahab go first. So King Ahab and his big group of people prayed to Baal, and they shouted. But did Baal send fire? Nope. So Elijah said, hmm, maybe it's sleeping. Maybe you should shout louder. So King Ahab and the prophets tried again. They shouted louder and louder. But did Baal answer with fire? Let's check. Nope. Then it was Elijah's turn. He trusted God and believed God can do anything. So Elijah went to the altar. He had people 
pour water on it so it would be really hard to light on fire. And then he prayed, God, we believe you are the one true God, that you can do anything. Show us your power, God. He did it. God lit the altar on fire and everyone knew that God is the one true God. Wow, God is so powerful. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us to trust God. I can trust God and you can trust God. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God showed he's the one true God. That means we can trust him. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God can do anything. He sent fire and showed that he is the one true God and we can trust him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! All these colors look like the fire in our story. Now whenever I dance with them, I can remember that God can do anything. Hey Melody, play some more dancing music, please. Playing dance music. God, I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. Elijah had a problem. He loved God and he trusted in God, but many people in his country, including the king, King Ahab, didn't believe in God. They believed instead in a God named Baal. But here's the thing, Baal wasn't real. All he was was a statue of a cow. So Elijah asked them to hold a contest. They would build two altars and put sticks on top all ready for a fire. But instead of people lighting the fire, they would pray to see which God would send the fire. That would show everyone who the one true God was. Well, the people who worshiped Baal went first. They prayed and they shouted and they danced. But did Baal send fire? No, how could he? He wasn't real, he was just a statue of a cow. Then it was Elijah's turn. First, he asked for a lot of water to make the altar wet, so it'd be even harder to make a fire there. But it wasn't too hard for God. Elijah prayed and God made the fire appear. Everyone could see that God was the one true God, that he was powerful and strong. When we remember how powerful and strong God is, it can help us trust him. Elijah trusted God, I trust God, and you can trust God too, friends. Today, I want you to get out your crayons. You're going to draw a picture of the fire today to help you remember the story. You might even want to draw the altar and the sticks, or Elijah and the king. Parents, if your child would like, you could even trace their hand as the fire. This month, we have a special weekly prize for one lucky family, an a and gift card. All you need to do for a chance to win is share the picture of your child's artwork. Please post it on our Lake Point Kids Facebook page or email to me at rachel at lakepoint.church. Parents, please take a moment right now to fill out the online connection card available on the Lake Point app. It's like our guest book letting us know who is watching and helping us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents do that, why don't you pretend you're Elijah, building the altar and praying for God to send down the fire.
free to enjoy earlier Family Experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the Family Resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, you can trust God.